Well, this week, the nation will continue to honor the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She will be honored at both the Supreme Court and the U.S. Capitol. Tributes continue to pour in as hundreds of people still coming out to pay their respects. And that's where we find Ava Joy Burnett tonight. She is live with much more on this emotional story. Ava Joy. Well, Rick, many people called Ruth Bader Ginsburg an icon, and that's evident here today. They've had to clear away hundreds of flowers that laid on the floor here at the U.S. Supreme Court, but that memorial is growing once again. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was only the second woman appointed to the high court. Her legacy lives on much longer than that. I, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, do solemnly swear. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was nominated to the U.S. Supreme Court in 1993. By then, her fight for women's equality was well established. She'd already won five of the six cases she argued before the high court. When she died Friday, a memorial started to grow. Literally yesterday, I woke up and I just felt compelled to be here. Yolanda Trotman, an attorney and former judge, came from Charlotte. Whether or not you believe or agree with her politically, she was the one that was willing to dissent. She was the one that was willing to speak truth to power. The equal citizenship stature of men and women is a fundamental human right. With a still voice and small stature, Justice Ginsburg was often a force behind landmark cases, and her bold opinions gave her the nickname Notorious RBG. This architect from Baltimore told us she wouldn't be here today had it not been for the precedent the justice set. Even being able to have my own credit card, I didn't have to find a man to sign for that. Justice Ginsburg's work for equality spanned decades and inspired generations. Thank you for paving the way for strong women everywhere. I will be strong because of women like you. Monday, mothers brought their daughters here, fathers did the same. She represented um, what? strong women can do. Just the idea of celebrating a woman who made the sacrifice for all of us. After 27 years, the institution and the people honor a woman who believed in equal justice under law. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg will lie in repose here at the U.S. Supreme Court, and then later in the week she will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol just across the street. This is an honor that's bestowed on very few Americans. Live tonight at the U.S. Supreme Court, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.